everyone, here we are again, Robin the Sudoku guy, with yet another tutorial. This is tutorial number 33, and on this tutorial, I want to show you some tricks and talk about when and where you put little numbers, particularly at the beginning of a puzzle. Now, this is a difficult puzzle, but I thought I'd just show you a couple of little tricks. Um, whenever I do a puzzle, even if it's a very difficult puzzle, I always go through a step-by-step -step, uh, method. For example, in this puzzle I would do uh, TMB, uh, horizontal blocks, I would do LCR, vertical blocks, I would also do look for other things as well as cross-meet technique at the same time. So let's look at this very quickly. Um, in this particular case, the horizontal blocks, there's no ones, there's only one, two, no threes, no fours, no one, five, one, six, a one seven but I noticed a seven down here so let's see if we can tr do something with that s with the cross meet technique okay here we go we go across this here's a seven here this block doesn't have a um, a seven so we take this seven come across and take this seven come down the only place a seven can go is there Super. Now let's uh, go back to where we were here. We were doing bottom, top, and two nines. There's two nines, so the, therefore the nine in this block has to be there or there. But there's a nine down here, so we can put a nine right there. Now wh when I did that, I noticed something. This is neat. Here's a seven nine. Here's a seven nine. That's a left. That's a center. Down here there's only two cells, so it has to be a matching pair 7979. Seven, nine. So let me put them in. And okay, let me put them in. And I look over here, there's no sevens or nines. Leave it like that. This is a situation where you only put uh, two numbers in a possible numbers in a cell and leave it at that. You don't need to put any other numbers in either. Now also uh, I noticed that. Um, here we have a 7-3, here we have a 7-3, so over here we have a bottom, a top, this has to be a 3-7 as well, or 7-3, 3-7, matching pair. So you can put, the, put those numbers in. Now, when can you put more than three numbers? Well, um, not really in a one cell, but you can put three numbers in a row, within a block. Let me show you what I mean. This one here. Middle, top, bottom. A four could go in each of these. So we can do that. And it has to be within a block and it has to be in a row or a column. Similarly here, uh, center, right, left. We could have a four here. We have a four there and a four there. I put those in in the early stages. I also put um, single numbers in at the early stages. For example, I notice here we have a one, here we have a one, we have a left, a center, a one could go either here or here. Those are the sorts of um, little numbers I put in at the beginning of working on a, a difficult puzzle. As you go further, the time's going to come where you've tried every trick of the trade that you know of and you have no alternative but to put all the possible numbers in. One of the things I have noticed on a lot of the sites on, you, on, on online is that they put all the numbers in there for you. One of the skills is for you knowing how to put the numbers in, but when you put all the numbers in, then it becomes hard, harder, in my opinion, to see patterns and all things like that. So that's it for today's session. Next session is a, probably the one of the most important sessions that I have done in a long time because it's all about the different ways of looking for uh, uh, numbers to exclude. It's a rule of exclusion in many forms. So we'll leave it at that.